Hey what's up guys it's your man JB here and in this video we're checking out this Emperor paint. Now this is a masonry paint and it's for painting houses but uh, we're not going to be painting a house in this video we're going to be painting this wall. Now right here we've got some masonry cleaner, we've got some masonry primer and we've got the masonry paint. Now I am going to go through some of the benefits of this paint throughout the video but the first thing that I want to highlight is that there is a 100% lifetime guarantee. So as I've said already we're going to be painting this wall but the first thing we need to do today is to use this exterior masonry cleaner to clean it up and this is going to get rid of all of these brown mossy marks on the wall before we paint it. Right, come on, let's get on it. There's nothing like singing neighbours. <laughs> anyway, you can see here we've got a bit of plastic sheeting down on this lovely new decking and then some, um, some dust sheets as well. So we're just going up to the end of this part of the wall here. So we've sheeted it out and uh, now we're going to get the cleaner ready. So we've got the cleaner and we're going to put it into the bucket. Now this is neat, we don't dilute it, we just pour it straight from the container. So before we do that, we're going to get the old PPE on. Oh yeah. So for this, I'm just going to use a brush. Oh, it's nice and foamy. Now the fact that you can just roll this on or spray it, I'm kind of guessing that you don't actually need to scrub it. So uh, I'm not going to go too mad with the brush and just really brush it on rather than scrub it. So by using the cleaner before the primer, you do benefit from the lifetime guarantee and the 25 year plus life expectancy of the paint itself. So the cleaning is done for today and we're going to leave that to dry and come back tomorrow before we apply the primer. Okay, so we are back on the next day. The wall has been cleaned and it's looking absolutely fantastic as you can probably see. It's got rid of all the green and the brown, so that cleaner that we used really has done a good job. So we're going to go ahead and get some of this primer on the wall. Now I've got myself a roller, um, ideally you'd probably want quite a thick pile roller because this particular wall is quite textured. So we should be okay with this one, uh, but I've also got a brush just to cut in uh, around the edges as well. Now one litre of this will cover about six to eight square metres, so uh, we've got plenty of primer to go on this wall. I'm just going to fill up my scutter with some of this. As you can see there, it is really runny, so uh, do make sure you uh, cover up anything you don't want to get this primer on. Right, here we go. This is going to be very much like putting a mist coat, a very wet mist coat, on walls. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely runny. Now this wall is so textured that this roller isn't cutting it, and I've got a rather small brush here, so uh, we're going to go a bit more heavy duty. Let's see how this one works. Oh yes, that's what I'm talking about. Is it still running? Coffee's up when you're ready. Oh, thanks Mark. Just uh, Put it down there for me. Thank you very much. So this is definitely the way to go. This brush is quite soft and it really does hold a 
a lot of paint, so I can literally do one of these bricks at a time. So as you can see, as this primer's going on, it is very watery. And unlike standard primers that you can imagine would just block up any pores in the, in the masonry, it really is just coating it rather than filling it. And that's one of the benefits of using this system, is that it doesn't fill all the pores in the masonry. It keeps them open, leaving the masonry and the stone and the brick highly breathable. So using a smaller brush like this, just a two inch brush, is quite good for edges, but um, you definitely want a bigger brush like this if you are going to be brushing it. And if you are going to roller it, particularly with a very textured wall like this, you need a really thick pile roller. Now that whole wall's done, it does take about three to four hours for the primer to dry around 20 degrees. And uh, right now, I'd say it's above 20, so just two or three hours, I think this will be ready for the next coat, or the, the first top coat. Fantastic. Time to finish the rest of my coffee. Cheers. Now that that's done, I can just wash this lot out with some water, because none of this is hazardous, and it's all water-based. Just clean it with water, so uh, that makes it nice and easy. This has had a few hours to dry and it really is warm out here so we're going to go ahead and get the first coat of paint on there. This is going to be a two coat system so I will be applying two coats of this and you do need to leave the first coat for about 12 hours to dry so we'll do the first coat and then we'll come back tomorrow to do the second coat. Now as the paint is going to be a bit thicker than the primer, I'm going to be using this masonry brush. So it'll be a lot thicker, I'll be able to get more on this brush and it'll go on a little bit quicker than using a small standard brush. First impressions, nice and thick, oh yes. Now as I've mentioned already, the benefits of using this paint is that it does allow the wall and the masonry that you're painting, it allows it to breathe, it is highly breathable. So uh, must be some pretty fancy technology and gone into producing this because it's so thick, but yet it doesn't clog up the pores. So it'd uh, mm, be interesting. Now though I'm using this masonry brush here, I'm just going to use a smaller brush just to start on this edge. That really is thick paint. Now we are doing two coats of this paint, so although I want to get it nice and even, I'm not going to worry too much if there are tiny, tiny little spots that I don't get the paint on because the second coat will definitely feel those. So we'll just do a bit more of the edge here and then we'll go ahead with the bigger brush. As it's going on, it is almost leaving it slightly grey. So two coats of this and it should look pretty nice. Right, I'm going to crack on for a bit.
that's the first coat done and as you can see there are a few dark spots and that's basically where the paint hasn't got dry into all the small holes in the wall but I shall get those sorted on the second coat. I started on this end and this end is already dry and I finished down that end so it does touch dry quite quickly in about two hours but you do need to leave it for 12 hours before doing the second coat and you can notice that it is a little bit grey after that first coat so once that second coat goes on it should look really good one thing to mention about this paint as well is that it is super I mean super hydrophobic <laughs> and that means it's completely waterproof and what we'll do after we've done the second coat we're going to throw some water over it and just watch how the water will just bead and run off it right then we're back for more and uh, right now I'm going to stick the second coat on hoping it's going to be a little bit quicker than the first coat it normally is I've got a few holes to fill in and uh, yeah it's all good so uh, let's crack on As you can see this second coat goes on really nicely and it really is covering up all those grey spots. Alright there we go, second coat finished. So we're nearly done, we're going to leave that another 12 hours, we'll do the splash test and, uh, and then we're there. So there we have it, the wall is completely dry now. So because this makes the wall waterproof, it does keep the wall and the surface six degrees warmer than usual than when it's wet, as the wet actually reduces the temperature. And also due to the paint technology, it's also self-cleaning, which uh, obviously reduces the need to clean it. Right then, let's get it wet and see how the water just beads off it. Oh, look at that. That looks like a, a newly waxed car. So just spraying that down with the hose, although it's obviously wet, it doesn't feel like it's soaking. And the water really did just run off that so quickly. Pretty impressive. So this has just had a good soaking and it's pretty much dry. Oh well, wow. great job JB. Fantastic guys, so if you want any more information on this product then just click the link in the description box down below. Oh and by the way, this is verified by the Energy Saving Trust. There you go. Okay then guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you lot on the next video.